Welcome to the fifth lesson in the Google Ads tutorial series. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps to create assets in Google Ads. Assets let you provide additional information relating to your offer to make your ads more engaging. And we're also going to cover conversion tracking. If you haven't created a campaign yet, then I recommend doing this before you start setting up assets. The assets you create need to support the ad copy you've already written. So if you're just getting started, please take a moment to check out the other videos in this tutorial series. Okay, let's jump in and head to Google Ads. We're looking at the account we've already set up for this tutorial series. So let's select Assets. And then Assets. Assets were previously called ad extensions and they let you display additional information with your ads as people are searching. You can create assets at the account level, the campaign level, or for the individual ad group. I'm going to create them at the campaign level, so this means they will apply to all of the ads in the campaign. To create an asset, let's click the plus sign. We can now see all of the different assets we can create. Today I'm going to focus on site links since these can make your ads more engaging and increase your click-through rate. To learn more about site links, check out the extra resources in the description below this video. So let's choose site link. Site links let you include additional links with your ad when the ad is displayed in the top positions on Google so they give people more opportunities to click through to your website. I recommend creating at least four site links and add the optional descriptions for each site link. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create site links for the campaign. Each site link should direct people to a different landing page on your website. And you should think about them as secondary calls to action. So use them for any other landing pages related to your campaign and offer. When you're happy, click Save. You can now explore the other assets. Only create assets that suit your business and campaign. For example, if you don't want people to call you, don't configure the call asset. Only use the ones that work for you. We've now created the basis for our campaign. We have all the elements we need to launch our campaign. But before we do, I want to show you a few more things. Remember when we set up the campaign, we went through a number of different campaign settings. Well, I wanted to show you that you can change all of these settings even after your campaign is up and running. So let's select Campaigns, and then Campaigns. Let's hover over our campaign, and select the configuration icon. We're now looking at the campaign settings. This is where you can edit your budget, bidding strategy, and more. Okay, let's close this. The other options I wanted to touch on before we launch our campaign are device bid adjustments. To find these, we need to select Insights and Reports, and then When and Where Ads Showed. Now we need to select the Devices tab at the top. This is where we can modify our bids based on the device someone uses to see our ad. Let's say your audience mainly uses mobile devices then you might choose to adjust your bids for people using those devices. For example, we can click the bid adjustment for mobile devices and then increase our bid by 100%. This means that if my maximum bid is $2, my bid increases by 100%, so to $4 for people using a mobile device. So you can use bid adjustments to adjust your bids for your sweet spots and you can also apply a negative bid adjustment too. For example, if all of your conversions occur on desktop, you can set a negative bid adjustment. If we set decrease by 100%, our ads won't be displayed on those types of devices. 
unless you have existing data, for example, from other Google Ads campaigns or Google Analytics, I encourage you to leave these bid adjustments until you've collected some insights. Then once you see data coming through from your campaign, you can use it to inform your bid adjustments. The other feature I want to highlight is conversion tracking. Since there are different options for tracking conversions, I'm just going to show you where to set them up in Google Ads. Let's select Goals and select Summary under Conversions. It's important to take time to set up conversion tracking in Google Ads so that you can understand how your campaign performs. By taking the time to configure conversions, you'll be able to see which keywords and ads lead to conversions on your website. To learn more about the different types of conversions you can create, check out the extra resources below this video. Let's take a quick look though. Let's click the button to create a conversion. There are options to track conversions on your website like leads and purchases. You can track app conversions, phone calls, and you can import conversions. If you've already configured conversions in Google Analytics, then a quick way to get up and running is to link your account and then choose this import option. Once you're tracking conversions, you'll be able to understand the performance of your campaign. Let's head back to our campaign. We've created our campaign, selected settings to give us maximum control, created our ad groups, selected keywords and written our ads. This means it's time to launch our campaign. Let's select Campaigns and then Campaigns. And let's change the campaign from Paused to Enabled. As long as we're not advertising anything in a restricted category, our ads will be reviewed. And once they're approved, they should be shown on Google search results shortly. If you've enabled your campaign and you're not sure if your ads are running, then you can come back here and check the status column. This will tell you if there are any major issues. You can then navigate to ads and check the status column for each of your ads. Once our ads have been approved, you'll see this in the status column here. Another way to check if your ads are running is to use the ad preview tool. You can find this by selecting tools then Troubleshooting, and then Ad Preview and Diagnosis. This lets you enter one of your search terms to preview the search results on Google. You can even adjust some of the targeting options across the top. This is a great way to check that your ads are running, and it will also provide additional details if there are any issues. As you get started with Google Ads, my top two tips are to start with a small budget and once you've created your campaign, make sure you take the time to set up conversion tracking. In the next video, we're going to cover Performance Max campaigns, which can be a good option to explore once your search campaigns are performing well. So I'll see you in my next video when we cover Performance Max campaigns. Thanks for watching.